and then the surgery. Oh, I can remember the smell. Musty staleness. It was an old terraced house. And the front room, front parlour, had been made into a, a waiting room. A few chairs around the outside. Oh, the, the gas fire wheezing away, making it really hot and stuffy in there. And I can see probably all in the, in the spider-ridden corners, the wallpaper was starting to curl away. And I look around and there's, oh, there's a coffee table. Remember the coffee table? Full of books, or magazines, family friend, Reader's Digest. And there was one uh, called The Lady. Well, what was all that about? I don't know. There was nothing like, oh no, a Desperate Dan magazine, comic, or, or a Beano, or oh, one of them uh, small war books, Battle, I think they were called. Oh, they were my favourite. Loved them. And as I look around, there's a boy in the corner. Got a block nose. Sitting there quiet with his mother. Blow, she says, as she puts a clean linen hanky over his nose. And he blows and he blows and she wipes his nose and they sit there quietly again. The room is mute. I start looking around. There's information posters on the wall. I read them. They properly covering up the plaster cracks. I don't understand them. I can read, but I don't understand. Read them again. Then I see the flies in the centre of the room, circling around in a square motion. Fascinating. 